You know who Butcher Bantan is? Yes, of course. How could you not know, buddy? <laughs> He's funny. How oh, you mean you don't subscribe yet? How oh, you mean you don't turn on the notification bell? How oh, you mean you don't like, share and comment? How oh, you mean you don't tell your friend them how you man Ethan? Yo, I love my mic, you know? Cheese and peas, it's so sexy. Oh, wait, we're rolling? Oh, yo, how oh, you mean people don't know it's your boy Yadman Ethan? And we are here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, in Broward County. And you know how over the past weekend, Bojo Bantan started his long walk to freedom tour and sell out the national stadium. So right, you know, we are going to try to ask some people about their opinions on Bob Marley's long walk to freedom tour. What do you mean? Yes, you heard that right. I want to see how much people can catch with that. I want to see how much people still believe that Bob Marley is alive. Out of prison in 86 months over some Coca-Cola charges. All right, watch this now. And for the people them who don't know, the late great Bob Marley died May 11th, 1981. So we're gonna see how much people we can catch. Hey, Alright, so what's your name, boss? Steven. Steven. Uh, my name is Donald. Alex. Amir. Darius. Derek. Derry, Derry. What's your name, boss? Antoine. Angeline. Angeline. That's a, that's a nice name. Thank you. And your name is? Oh, my name is Ethan. Oh, that's a nice thing too. Oh, thank you, thank you. My name is Cavity Toosie. <laughs> Sound like you like enough, sweetie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a sugar fan. Die hard. So, here's the thing, right? So, Bob Marley, you know, already a Jamaican legend in his own right. You know what I mean? Like, you know, he got... He, unfortunately, a lot of people believe that he was... Um, he was set up, you know, with, you know, cocaine. And he was, he's been in prison for about, like, eight to six months recently. You know, got out in December, de deported back to Jamaica. He had a big concert in Jamaica, sold out the entire place. I want to know, like, what do you think this type of situation would have on his career, have on his entire image? Well, regardless of the events that has happened, he's going to get popularity because of this. If it's going to be good or bad, he's going. To, his future concerts are going to go ahead and be filled up even more with concert with um fans now that he's back out so you can expect like a lot of popularity is going to happen maybe even new hit songs that may come out thanks to him so that's that's what i can expect from this so far you know bob marley has been locked up for 86 months in you know u.s prison you know what i mean and i just wanted to know like what do you think you know, him going back to Jamaica, selling out our national stadium. And I'm talking about thousands of people, including celebrities from the United States, you know, coming on to support this. Like, what do you think this would have on his legacy? Well, I feel like um, his legacy is going to be a little bit tainted, given that um, if he is not treated uh, well as an artist, it's going to tamper down on other artists as well. Like, if you deport, say, other artists over the same issues, I'd feel like it's going to take a toll on the industry as a whole. But I feel that overall, it's just going to be a bad move for most of the, um, the, crea the creative freedom of America. Bob Marley has been locked up for about eight to six months. He got deported to Jamaica last December. And the son, he put on a wicked concert over the weekend. I want to know, like, your opinion on what this may have on his legacy. I don't think it would have an effect on his legacy because he's dead already. <laughs> um, I don't know, You may, are you talking about Buju Bantan? Is that who you're talking about? All right, all right, all right. All right, we got one. Free world going on. So, you know, Bob Marley, you know, reggae legend. And that's that. Unfortunately, Bob Marley was deported to Jamaica in December. December 2018, right? And he had a concert this past weekend, sold out the National Stadium. I want to know what your opinion on this, you know, coming out of prison, starting this long walk to freedom tour, that's what he calls it. So what do you think this is going to have on his legacy? What impact do you think this is going to have on his legacy? 
I think uh, by having that concert, it's a way to bring the people back to the the essence of of of, of Bob Marley and and how Jamaica and how he played an important impact in Jamaica culture and stuff like that. And then it gives a, the youth that didn't even see him be around understand a little bit more about him and where he come from and you know get to know more about him, you know. And to the old folks, it brings a good back memory of what what you have done. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Do you know who Bob Marley is? Of course. All right, so you know Bob Marley. He was locked up for uh, for the past eight to six months. Um, he was deported to Jamaica in um, in December. You understand? They had a concert this past weekend. You know, one of Bob Marley's concerts this past weekend. I want to know what do you think this would have on his? You know, what kind of impact this is going to have on his legacy moving forward? Um, I mean, I don't know if he could get bigger than what he already big bout, you know? Is he dead and gone, you know? But wait a minute! Can't really push it or do no, do too much about it. People know him, you know? Him dead and gone. Yeah, you know, can't really, can't, can't promote somebody dead, you know? He can't make new songs, you know? His kids, them, they doing the right, you know? They could, he should have stayed to do, you know, to help out the kids with the, the music. I feel like, you know, the path that he chose to to not amputate whatever needed to be amputated or something like that, that's what I heard. But I feel like that was selfish of him because he got too much kids to, um, to really worry about, you know? Okay, so um, do you know when he died? Probably before I was born, he looked old. You know who Bojo Guantan is? Yes, of course. How could you not know, buddy? <laughs> He's funny. What do you mean? So here's the thing, right? So Bob Marley has been, you know, locked up, you know, for the past eight to six months. He just got deported to Jamaica, you know, in December, you know, over Who? some. Who you said? You said Bob Marley. Yeah, Bob Marley. Um, I don't know about all that. He's been dead for a little while now. So Bojo Banton. <laughs> <laughs> has been locked up and, and I mean he just this is he, he just started his tour the long walk to freedom tour you know in Jamaica and he sold out the national stadium completely sold out so I want to think like you know he just got back on the streets he has so much mainstream media supporting him what do you think a move like this would have on his legacy moving forward him getting locked up or him selling out the national like him coming back oh coming I mean he's a legend you know so like him coming back is definitely gonna impact the game. He's like the people like Drake now. You know he can just like get out of just the Jamaican like mainstream, come worldwide. You know, yeah. come global. Which should definitely be something great. You know, because other artists from Jamaica could do the same thing. Here's a backstory, quick and fast. So you know Bob Marley, right? Yeah. All right. So Bob Marley recently deported back to Jamaica, December 2018. He started a, a, a tour called Long Walk to Freedom. Right, and this past weekend he put on a concert, and I tell you, he sold out the place. I want to know, like, what do you think this tour would have? What kind of impact this tour would have on his legacy moving forward? Well, from what I think is that there's a lot of young people out there who's been influenced from their parents, from their siblings that actually love this man, that listen to his music, that love his backstory, his culture, all that. And they're gonna most likely tell their friends, their family, everybody they know that, oh, this man is Bach, he's seen you guys tour and everything. They're gonna want to go see him in person and live, maybe even go backstage to even talk to him in person and see, like, how did he get to where he is? What is he doing now with his life? How can they get to where he is? So I feel like it'll be like a big impact on a lot of people in this world, especially around the um, in different countries, and not just Jamaica, just other countries that actually people listen to his music in Haiti, in, the, in America, Europe, everybody that likes his music and knows about him, they're going to really love to see him. They're going to want to go to his concerts, check him out, and pretty much spread the word to everybody they know. All right, so I know about the concert that happened this past weekend. Is it me? I said, I go around and I ask people how they feel about Long Walk to Freedom. I ask people how they feel about this Bob Marley concert. You know, so the man did, did you know, did lock up. Is it me? I said, did, did. <laughs> You know, was they got deported in December. Is it me? I say come back and show the thing. How do you feel? You know, this would impact Bob Marley's legacy moving forward. All right, so um, <laughs> that was definitely Bujo. <laughs> it was definitely Bujo. <laughs> All right, boss. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, but they will help Bob Marley career too. <laughs> 
Alright, so on the on the on the done on the do, all right, yeah, but yeah. can't yeah. catch Jamaica on them one day. So alright, so since you don't know what go on, yeah. big and serious, how do you think this is gonna affect Bujo's legacy moving forward? I mean it's not I mean it's gonna affect him a, a positive way, I guess. Um I mean with like everything now him, you know, come back and start him career. I just can't tell where we're going. Cause we definitely are gonna cartel one when him come out. Alright. <laughs> Guys are for life. <laughs> what is it, boss? Same thing, you know. Same thing, we are waiting for cartel to come out so we can go. Alright, yo, big up on yourself here. Yeah, um, you know about Mali, right? Yes. Alright, cool. So, um, you know, unfortunately, you know, he's been locked up for a while, you know. This past December, made 86 months, he got out, being deported, you know, went back home, then had this concert, started this tour called Long Walk to Freedom. Mm. You understand? So, Sold the place over completely. I just want to know, like, you know, what do you think, you know, moving forward, how this would impact his legacy? It would impact his legacy because it knows that he's still relevant in today's society. So he still has that impact to everyone's life. And no matter what, even being locked up, he still has a strong political, well, not political, but he has a strong essence to be in people's lives. So I think it's really good and it's going to impact him, especially in the court and everything like that, too. So I just think it's awesome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And there we have it. We catch some people. The people them never know the difference between Bob Marley and Bojo. And some people not even know say Bob Marley dead long time. But here me say man, Bojo, it's not an easy road. But I hope that you have a successful long walk to freedom. People them, hope you enjoyed the video, yeah. Make sure you say no subscribe and all them things there. Wow.